Hello and welcome to Cisco Small Business Video On Demand. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to set up an RV215W in less than five minutes. Cisco's Small Business RV Series routers are easy to configure, providing security, growth, and collaboration to your business. Simply power on the RV215W, connect your PC to a LAN port, connect your ISP modem or router to the WAN port. First, open your web browser and enter the default IP address of 192.168.1.1. Then log in with the default username, Cisco, and the default password, Cisco, all lowercase. The router setup wizard is automatically launched the first time you log in. Click on Don't Show on Startup and then click Next. The setup wizard will then check your WAN port for connectivity. When that is finished, click Next. Here you'll have multiple options to match your internet service provider's modem or router settings. If you do not have the information from your ISP, keep the recommended setting. After you've entered the information, click Next. Next, you'll have the system date and time zone settings. If you're using NTP, choose the correct time zone, or you may set the date and time manually. Then click Next. If your ISP requires MAC address authentication, you will do that here. Otherwise, use the default address. Then click Next. The setup wizard will then verify configuration and then check for internet access. After internet connection is detected, click Next. Next, you'll need to change the router password. It is recommended for security reasons that you use at least eight characters. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a default password, Cisco, then click Next. Here is where you'll set up the wireless SSID. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Data, and then click Next. Next, you'll have your wireless security options. Choose your preferred security settings and enter your preferred security key. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose best security. And for my security key, I'm going to enter Cisco 1234 and then click Next. Verify your settings and then click Submit. Before you click Finish, you have the option to save your security settings or print your security settings for future reference. Then click Finish. Now the RV215W is configured and ready for use in less than five minutes. If you wish to change your local subnet, click on Networking, then click on LAN. Here you'll have the option to change your IP address, modify your DHCP settings, and also modify your DNS server. Next, click on Wireless. Here you'll have the option to change your wireless settings and also enable the guest network. Next, click on Administration, then click on Users. Here you can add users for administration or VPN access and also activate the guest account. Next, click on Diagnostics. Here you can test connectivity to the Internet and devices on your local network. Next, click on Backup, Restore Settings. It is highly recommended to perform a backup before making any configuration changes or firmware upgrades. Next, click on Firmware Language Upgrade. Here you'll have the option to manually upgrade the firmware or have the system upgrade automatically. That concludes this demonstration of the Cisco Small Business RV215W. Here's a list of more Cisco Small Business devices that may also suit your business needs. For more information, go to www.cisco.com or if you need technical support, call 1-866-606-1866. Thank you for choosing Cisco for Small Business, and I'd like to thank you for watching.